White women need to stop calling the police over every damn thing. Over the past couple of weeks, there have been a number of highly publicized incidents where white women have called the police on people of color for ridiculous reasons. It happened at Yale, it happened in Oakland, it happened in Philadelphia, it happened at Colorado State University, it happened at Preakness. And these are just the incidents we know about. What's really going on? Well, the most important thing to remember is that this isn't innocent. White people know what they're doing. And a big part of it goes back to the origins of policing. In the South, police evolved from slave patrols. Dr. Gary Potter writes, following the Civil War, these vigilante-style organizations evolved into modern Southern police departments, primarily as a means of controlling freed slaves and enforcing Jim Crow segregation laws. And once the rest of the country began to urbanize around the mid-19th century, wealthy elites realized that they needed police to protect their interests and to maintain social order. A public police force was the most effective way to do that. So here we we are in 2018, where socially privileged people who are not even familiar with the history of policing recognize that the police are there to maintain order. That sounds reasonable and potentially non-threatening until you think about the fact that our social institutions are rooted in what Bell Hooks calls white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. And varied forms of marginalizations prevent most of us from acquiring private property like money, land, and assets. So when you don't control things and you don't own things, you threaten order just by existing. Now that brings us back to white women calling the police over nonsense. They recognize that police as an institution is there for them not us. And no, it doesn't matter what color or gender that particular officer is. Let's take for example this incident where a white woman gets into an altercation with a black man and starts yelling gun. You white supremacist. Help! You white supremacist. Help! Help! Gun! Gun! Shut up you white bitch. Help! Now, it's pretty clear that she's doing this because she recognizes that when the police show up, she, because of her white womanness, will be deemed the innocent and the black man will immediately be deemed the danger. Now, how would she have gotten that impression? While the rest of us are expressing our pettiness with side eyes and shady comments, white women are using the police and threats of deadly violence. This isn't about a genuine sense of danger. It's about domination. Let's go to Yale where Sarah Brash more than once called the police on grad students because she didn't feel like they belong there. One time a black man was lost. Another time a black woman was sleeping in a common area. Thankfully, Lolade Siambola filmed Brash who said this, I have every right to call the police. You cannot sleep in that room. So to recap, Sarah didn't call the police because she was scared. She called the police because a black woman's presence caused her minor discomfort. And instead of speaking to her like a normal human being, she called the cops. It's the same story with the two Native American boys at Colorado State University and the two black men in Philadelphia. Why speak to people of color? We're not human. So now you gotta ask, why is it always white women? I'd argue that it's because of white women's position as oppressed and oppressor. White womanhood is a construction that relies on playing up that fragility. And historical demands that they be protected by any means necessary empowers them to play up their status as a privileged minority. White women are good for tapping into that damsel in distress trope at the drop of a hat. Like this woman in Oakland who called the police, engaged in a back and forth, and crumbled as soon as the officers showed up. All of this stuff is so absurd. It would be hilarious if we weren't being traumatized in the process. Put plainly, calling the police on people who are just trying to navigate life is terrorism. It's meant to remind us that we do not belong anywhere and that we will always be subject to the whims of people who understand that social inequity works to their benefit. We need white women to stop it because it's ruining our lives. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you'd like to help us continue the work of For Harriet, become a donor on Patreon or make a one-time donation and join us as we host events across the country. I'll see you at Black Girls Gather. Bye.